Look, I think um, these kinds of events, I think it would be silly of us if we didn't think they were going to happen more often. That's how we respond to that. I think there's um, always some room for improvement in these situations. Uh, as I said to the meeting, um, they're moving beasts. Um, but I think uh, if you speak to the community as a whole, they're pretty happy with how things are at. I think you've also got to remember this is a pretty busy time for the Coromandel. They've got lots of visitors. Uh, and you saw um, this community of Tapuru also um, played host to a, a number of tourists uh, who found themselves stranded here. So I think um, on the whole it's a pretty good response. Our drowned houses, we needed power and water and we had neither. We had confusing information, uh, uh, different information from all places. Our civil defence people here were on the phone continuously getting mixed messages from all around the country. Um, there was no apparent uh, line of, of command um, that, and that failed us. We're shattered. Um, we did very, very well. Uh, we didn't lose anybody. We lost a few cars, which we perhaps shouldn't have. A lot of damage to the houses, the ones that got damaged, there's quite a lot of damage. But really the community looked after itself. Yeah, I think this is challenging uh, local bodies and governments, local bodies around the country, uh, and the government is certainly having more of these discussions, whether you talk about areas such as the Bay of Plenty, um, some parts of central Otago, this is an issue that we have to start thinking about, but making sure that um, local government and central government are working together to make sure that the infrastructure is resilient is, is a long-term challenge for New Zealand. Yeah.